In this video tech tip, I'm going to show you two tools that I like to use before I export a mesh file. For this sample, I'm using a cast router base. The first tool I like to use is the small object filter. It runs one of two different ways. The first method is to delete everything except the largest mesh entity that's there. This will get rid of small hanging elements like this floating piece of data. Alternately, you can run it so that it deletes everything below a specific polygon count. Let's run that now. The next thing I like to do is under the Fix Holes tab. You can see here that there are four holes in my data set. That's not really my concern. But what I do like to do is use edge smoothing to smooth all of the edges, all the boundaries of the mesh. Let's smooth those now, and we can see that it will do a nicer job and give us a bit of a cleaner boundary. This helps delete any curved or curled up edges that will make it more difficult to reverse engineer the part later. Much better. Hope those work for you.